Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I have taken the SSH of the Red Hat 6.4 mission in Ubuntu for this tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization. Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Hypervisor is a hypervisor of Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization platform. It is a bare metal hypervisor which is used to host virtual missions. Now we can see the installation of the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager. The Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager is a management system which controls the hypervisors. Using this, we can create, migrate, modify virtual missions which are created by the hypervisors. We can integrate OpenStack using this and it supports offline migration, high availability, clustering, etc. Now we can see the installation. First, you need to get the access for the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization packages and updates. You can get a free 60 day trial subscription from the Red Hat official site using the cop corporate mail account. Then you need to register the system using the subscription manager command. Now we can see the registration subscription manager register iPhone iPhone hyphen username. Now give the username space iPhone iPhone password. Now the password now give enter. Now the system has been registered with the ID. You can see the ID here. After registering, you need to subscribe. For that, you can use the following command rhn underscore register. Now give S and continue. Now give next. Now enter the Red Hat login. Now the password. Now give next. You can select the limited updates or you can select the all available updates. I am giving all available updates and give next. Now give OK. Now we need to give the profile name and then next. Now we can see the RPM packages that you need to install in the system. You can select or deselect here. After, after selecting give next. Now give next. Now it is sending the profile to the Red Hat network. This will take some time. Now the subscription for the system is completed. Now we can see the MRHN plugin is enabled. Now give OK. Now give finish. And you need to now update your system using the M update command. Give M update. Now give S to download and install the packages. Now the packages are getting downloaded. This will take some time. Now the system update is completed. Now we need to enable the repo to install the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager. vi slash etc m dot repos dot d red hat dot repo. If the repos are not found in the repo file, you can use the m repo list all to refresh the repo file. Now we can see the repo file is updated. Now we need to enable the repos. Now give one to enable. You need to enable all the repos that are needed to install the virtualization manager. And after enabling the repos, save the file. After enabling the repos, now we can install the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization manager. The command is m install rhevm now give enter. The repo needed is disabled. So now we need to enable the repo. Just open the etcm plugin conf.d search disabled.repos.conf and give the option notify only as 0. By default it is 1. Now give 0 and save the file. Now run the m install Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager command. Now some repositories are not enabled, so give S to enable the repositories that are needed to install the virtualization manager. Now give S and give enter. Now the dependencies are resolved. Now give S to download and install the packages. Now give enter. Now the packages are getting downloaded. This will take some time. The transaction checker error has been occurred. 
to resolve this, we need to downgrade the SOS package. M downgrade SOS. Now give M install SOS 2.2. Now give S to download and install the package. Now we can install the RHEVM. M install RHEVM. Now give S. Now give S to install the package. Now the packages are getting installed. This will take some time. Now the dependency packages are installed. Now we need to configure the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization manager using the engine setup command. Engine iPhone setup. Now give enter. Now give as to proceed to override the HTTPD configuration and restart the service. Give as the port is 80 and the HTTPS port is 443. Now give the fully qualified domain name. Now give enter. Now give as. Now enter the password for the administrative user of the virtualization manager. And give enter. And confirm the password. Now the organization name for the certificate. And give enter. The default storage type we are using. Let's give enter. And the enter the DB type for installation. And give enter. Now the password for the local DB admin manager. And confirm the password. And to configure the NFS char on the server, you can give S, which is used for the ISO domain and the local ISO domain path. Yeah. And if you want to configure the firewall, you give IP tables or else give none. And you can see the configuration that I have given. Now give S to proceed with it. Now it is configuring the changes. This will take some time. Now the configuration is completed. Now we can access the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager in the browser. Now open the browser and open a new tab. Now enter the IP. And now you can see the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager. Now give administrative portal. Now give the username and password. The username is admin. And enter the password that you are given during the configuration. And now click login. Now the Red Hat Enterprise Virtual Manager is open. Now we can see the storage, network, templates and clusters. Using this you can manage the virtual machines. The Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager is successfully installed. Thank you for watching.